Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. Thanks for coming. Today we are having another Up All Night Creations. This is a fun, fun, fun group. This spring and summer. It's got Indiana Jones, Shabby the Chic, and Up All Night. And these gals are just the funnest. Projects one, two, and three. Okay, I had this little box forever that I got from Dollar Tree, so I'm tearing it apart. I was going to paint it um, white, but then I kind of looked at it, and I looked at the paper that I picked for it and uh, decided to leave it pink. And what I did was I had this paper, and I lost footage. It's a JRV Easter paper, and I cut out a few different... Uh, pictures from it and uh, mod toward the edges and then I mod podged it down into this uh, frame and here it is after you could see and I put a bow on the top and you can see how I tore the edges and and mod podged it down and like I said put the bow on and now I've got these uh, baby shoes that were real popular when I was young. And uh, I got them at an estate sale. And I got this little chocolate bunny. i got to shove some of this uh, paper towel down there. I did want to glue them in just in case I want to change them for summer or fall or Christmas. And I got some of these little carrots on the stand from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to rest it here on the edge of it. And uh, that was it for the first one. And the second one, I found some stuff in my stash. I'm using more things for my stash all the time. And I found this uh, pipe tin type thing. And I put some more of the Jamie Ray Vintage Easter paper in there. And I found I had this little chick cookie cutter and I put that on there and that little burlap rose and the ribbon and the last one is another shoe and I am shoving more paper towel down in the toes to make it nice and fluffy um, you, you guys tell me if you remember these type of shoes all the babies wore these white shoes. And they had uh, soft bottoms when they first started out, and then they had hard bottoms. I remember tying plenty on my sister and brother, and then on when I babysat. Okay, here's another Dollar Tree carrot, and I'm just putting it down in here see if I can find like another little bunny or chick or something to go down there with it. But I think it looks cute with this big old carrot sticking out of it. So here they are. The three. One, two, and three. Very simple, easy. Just look around and see what you've got that you can uh, flip and make into a decoration. Like I say, it doesn't have to be permanent either. Again, you think that chocolate bunny is so cute, and it said on the bottom of the chocolate bunny, "Not for food consumption." Okay, make you break your teeth. Yeah, just tying some ribbon on the big carrot. This ribbon stuff I got, I got that from Timu. It's like a chiffon type material and the edges are slightly frayed and it's very pretty. Very soft, very French provincial cottage country, shabby chic. 
I'm just kind of a combo of all of them. And that's a kind of an opalescent type ribbon that I'm tying on top of that. Okay, there it is done. And here we are. Okay, project number four. This one's a biggie. I had three books that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty-five a piece. You can't can't miss that. And I took them out of the wrappers. So what I'm doing is just taking the spines and painting them white. Using a chalk paint, Waverly. Now I'm putting a little glue on the inside. Got this uh, weld bond, and it says it sticks to anything, so I'm putting it on. And I am just smearing it around. I'll take a little hot glue, throw a little bit on the inside, and put a little bit on the outside for instant hold. Another little bit on the inside. Yeah, I gotta put the glue on. Anyway, put the glue on and put the third one on. Now I'm giving them another paint. I ended up painting it three times so you could really see um, the lettering. So I had a nice nice stiff coat on there now I'm putting Mod Podge on there because uh, I wanted everything sealed, even putting it on the cover. Gives me a good coating underneath things. Like sometimes if you, you want to do plastic or something, glass or something, it's a good thing to give it a coat of Mod Podge and it will help your paint stick better. Just put a little bit on the inside. Lift up a few pages, put a little bit inside. And then what I do is I'm going to um, put it all around the edges. That way it will help the pages stick together better and it will give me a good surface for um, doing my dark wax. Because if I did the dark wax right on the paper, it would be really, really dark. And this way I just want it to have a little bit of aged look. Now this is a transfer from uh, IOD. Love their transfers. This is one that comes in, I'll list the name of it in the description, I can't remember right now, but uh, I'm just kind of putting it down and measuring it out so I can see where I want to cut it. I didn't know if I just want to have a few of the flowers 
strip to the front, but then I decided just to turn it over and put them all on. And so uh, just giving it a good rub down to stick. And I had cut off where I needed it, right on the edge. I can cut off the top too and put that back in case I ever need it for something, even though it's just a few pieces, you never know. went down there it went down on this really easy and I think it's because of the um, sealer the Mod Podge sealer just giving it a good rub all over and you lift it and see if it's going down and you know, when you lift it, you'll find a few spots. It didn't go down so hot, so you just go back and rub them again. Even, even just little tiny spots. Cutting off that excess carrier paper so I can rub the spine really nice. You could also do this with uh, some sort of uh, paper. You could take old newspapers or any kind of ephemera and put them on books just to give a really pretty decorative look and use it as a riser. I cut in between the books so I could get each one down nicely. And the letters on the uh, book would a little bit raised but then when you put all this down with the paint and the sealer and uh, the transfers you can't really tell and yes the IOD is expensive but there's so much you could do with each one. I, I've i got some that I've had for a long time, and I just still keep going in and getting pieces of it and doing crafts here and there. Now I'm putting sealer over it again. To get the best where you really need to put a sealer over Now I'm doing my dark wax after this the Mod Podge dried. It won't go down quite as dark, but a little bit, a little bit of aged look. Now I'm doing the pages. You'll be able to get a good look and see how they look. I think they come out really cool. And I was debating whether I wanted to put some uh, IOD resin molds on here or resin or air dry clay. I still might go back and do that. See so, yeah, how cool that looks. I'm 
do a little dark wax on the back of it. And I could have, I could have put the transfer on the back, but I didn't think I needed to. And I took a burlap ribbon that I got at uh, Dollar Tree and wrapped it around. Tied it in a bow. There it is, all finished. And here's everything all done. And I really appreciate you coming over and checking out our channel and the playlist. And uh, try to watch everybody in the playlist because they're some very talented people. And I thank you again for stopping by. Hit that like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Bye.